guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a lipstick swatch video. My lips are so swollen, but um, it is of the brand new Sweet Sensation Lipsticks by Fact Cosmetics. Um, this is not a sponsored video. I just really wanted to swatch it and give you my mini review uh, because there are new lipsticks in town and I love lipsticks the most out of any makeup product okay so i was like i have to swatch this and i have to let you guys know my thoughts on this uh, okay so this is how it looks really pretty it's got like nudes pinks reds okay like fair amount of shades i really like the 20 shade collection now having swatched all 20 lipsticks just now i have a few thoughts on these uh first let me give you like how much they cost and stuff so each of them cost 475 rupees and the links will be down below um it's cruelty free and it says it's a creamy texture, long lasting formula, it's comfortable, not sticky, doesn't dry out the lips and yeah it's a silky long lasting liquid lipstick from am to pm okay this is like the basic information so they say these lipsticks last a really long time now i don't know that because i did not wear this lipstick from am to pm i anyway love touching up my lipstick so that point really doesn't bother me even if it's not long lasting i it doesn't matter i don't care i will reapply anyway so um i would imagine it's a long lasting because it's super matte on my lips like you can see this is one of my favorite shades i'm wearing savage or savage any way you like to call it um, on my lips right now and it's pretty dang good okay I love it so really quickly I'm gonna tell you how I felt while swatching all 20 lipsticks I picked up on some things uh, number one is that it is matte okay it is extremely matte number two I just feel like I've never felt this formula before okay it looks like your NYX lip cream right this packaging looks very much like your Miss Claire and your NYX lip cream um, so that's the packaging of it, but it applies. Think of the Miss Claire and the NYX lipstick and double the creaminess. Like, I can't explain that. It is so velvety. It is extremely moussey. It doesn't disappear on the lips because some moussey foundations and some moussey texture lipstick, it disappears because it's very airy, right? It's very lightweight. But this is a different whipped formula that I have never come across before. Um, so yeah, the best I can describe it, think of it like the NYX lip cream, but double the velvetiness, the creaminess, the smoothness of this lipstick. I don't know if this will be everyone's favorite because it is a very, very unique texture that you will have not come across so far. It's very unique. Okay, um, swatching it again just to like, yeah, dude, it is like this thick mousse thick okay um however it does not feel thick on the lips it does not feel cracky and dry it does not crack up my lips at all if you are a liquid lipstick lover you will know that liquid lipsticks um sit on the lips in a very weird way they sit between the lip cracks and i don't mind that i really love how this sits um however it does not emphasize any of your dryness it will sit beautifully on the lips and yeah ma'am it is stunning this lipstick is really nice however very very few lipsticks are patchy you have to go over it once and twice another point i realized is that you cannot mum your lips while you're applying the lipstick like a lot of us get very tempted to mum right we apply one layer and do we do this to apply it on the top layer as well right to quicken the process don't do that with this lipstick because um i realized it gets very powdery you can see the powdery finish when you're mumming your lips so the best way to apply this lipstick is one or two layers and go ahead with one or two layers separately on the top lip and allow it to dry that's the best way you will get the finish of this lipstick i realized that after swatching all 20 um and yeah do not apply too much this is not one of those lipsticks that you can go on and on with three four layers because it will come out as powder like you will see powdery like stuff coming out of your lips so you have to be very careful it's very tricky lipstick to work with but when you get the hang of it it gives you like this beautiful matte result um if you feel it's too dry go ahead and put a lip balm i'm a liquid lipstick fanatic so i don't really mind the texture and the dryness of this lipstick quickly zooming you in on this to see the texture of the lipstick like you can see like after it's dried you can definitely mum your lips of course but while you're applying you want to stay away from that and this is the finish of it it's really nice very matte it transfers like a little bit like teeny bit it doesn't bother me but if it bothers you i just wanted to show you 
but yeah if you are a matte lipstick fanatic you're going to love the texture of this lipstick like i said so good so yeah those are my quick thoughts on this lipstick now um you see what your favorite color is in the swatches and you pick your favorite i highly recommend you buying one lipstick first and then trying it out and then if you like it go ahead and buy the other ones if you wish because i don't know how many people will be a fan of this but um it's very personal because like i said it's a very unique formula and you have to swatch it to be able to see if you're going to love it okay so that is my suggestion to you guys so yeah that is it those are my thoughts about this lipstick so i am very like in between with this lipstick i kind of 70% love it and 30% i'm still like mm, maybe i think i've picked out my favorites which i will write in the bottom bar so you can see and i will wear this lipstick yeah it's matte i love the formula what's not there to love but um keep in mind the points that i told you earlier because it can get very tricky to apply you might not love it instantly but it'll take you time to fall in love with it is that texture um so let's jump into the video <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 